Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. That's one of my favorite quotes from Vivian Green. And when I think about that quote, I think about life setbacks. Because in essence, setbacks in life are a part of that storm. And rather than waiting for them to pass, we should learn to dance through them. And that's not always easy. So today I want to share five vital how-to tips to teach you how to bounce back from life's setbacks. So the first tip to help you bounce back from the setbacks of life is to embrace the Phoenix mindset. I love this tip because I love the mythical story that surrounds the Phoenix bird. The Phoenix bird is a mythical bird who in essence went down. And when I think about the Phoenix bird, I think about how life may have suffocated the bird, drove it all the way down into the earth. And when the bird realized, hey, wait a minute, I'm much stronger than I'm giving myself credit. I'm the Phoenix bird, I'm strength. I am it, I am the bird of birds. So the Phoenix rose from the ashes stronger than it was before. Because instead of dwelling on what went wrong, the Phoenix bird realized, hey, I'm stronger than I've ever been before. And rather than focusing on what went wrong, I'm going to focus on what I can learn and how I can grow from this setback. And so like the Phoenix, we should do the same thing. Rather than focusing on what went wrong, focus on what you can learn and how you can grow from the setback. When you take on this mindset, it helps transform your failures into stepping stones. Oh, that is so good. Journaling is a fabulous tip to help you with this because it helps you learn from your setback by highlighting your learning experiences and it also allows you to see the experience or the setback clearly so embrace the phoenix mindset if you want to bounce back from life's setbacks the second tip to help you bounce back from life's setbacks is to build a supportive net work. When you cultivate a strong support network, that means surrounding yourself with mentors, real genuine friends, I have to stress that, real authentic friends, community groups, or even colleagues that you can trust, they will uplift you. However, as women, this seems to be quite difficult for us. And I think it's because Women naturally, not all of us, maybe not even yourself, but I'm sure you've dealt with this sort of thing. Women can naturally be jealous or envious. And so this presents a unique challenge for us because having a network that truly understands and supports us is hard to find, but it is an invaluable gift, but still difficult to find. But if you join groups, like I said, supportive groups, support groups, or those people that you can trust, if you surround yourself with people like that, where you can openly share your experience, your experiences, where advice is welcome, you will build that supportive network. It is valuable when you're trying to bounce back from setbacks. And also remember, networking isn't just about career advancement, but emotional support and growth as well. So keep that in mind when you are seeking to cultivate a strong, supportive network. Number three, the third tip that can help you bounce back from life setbacks is to master the art of self-advocacy. This is also quite difficult, but it is very doable, I promise. This simply means to learn to speak up for yourself assertively, not aggressively, but assertively. Because while being less confrontational is easier, when you advocate for yourself, it helps you recover from your setbacks 
even faster. Now, why is that? Well, because when you can stand up for yourself, you can negotiate yourself and you can defend your position. That is so good. Like I said, it's not easy in the beginning, but it's very doable. And to help you learn how to do this faster than ever before, you can practice role-playing strategies with a trusted friend or a coach that you feel comfortable with. And in these role-playing strategies, you might need to negotiate or defend your position. If you practice these role-playing strategies enough, you will learn how to master the art of self-advocacy. The fourth tip to help you bounce back from life's setbacks is to embrace financial literacy and independence. This is an invaluable tip because when you understand your finances thoroughly, you can make moves that you wouldn't normally make if you did not understand your finances. Let's make one thing clear. Having money makes life easier. No, money does not make us happier, but it does make life easier. Having money makes life a whole lot easier easier because think about it if you understand finances and if you have your finances together when you're facing a setback you can make moves easier let me give you an example say you're renting an apartment or a home and the owner of the home your landlord comes to you and say I'm selling the house and you have three weeks to get out to vacate the property because you are financially sound, your bank account looks good, you have yourself together, because you are financially sound, you're not worried about, okay, how am I going to come up with first, last month's and security deposits to pay for my new apartment or my new home? You're not going to be worried about those things because you have the $10,000, the $15,000, or even a down payment for a house of your own. You're not worried about how am I going to afford a moving truck to move all of my stuff that I've collected over the years. You're not worried about how am I going to restock my new place with food, with necessities, with supplies. And if you have children, it becomes harder when you're not financially independent, especially as women. It is so critical in today's time to be financially independent because if you were to ever find yourself in a position that is harming you or your children or whomever and you need to get up and go when you are financially stable and independent you can do those things so having money is good having money is critical when you're trying to bounce back from life setbacks now i'm not saying to go out there and do something crazy to get money or to become financially independent. We're not talking about only fans here, no. <laughs> or OF, maybe I should abbreviate that, I'm not sure. We're not talking about OF here, no. We're talking about understanding your finances thoroughly because setbacks often have financial implications. And sis, when you are financially literate, it empowers you to make informed decisions. It helps you recover faster and allow you to plan for the future. That's why I'm so just emotional when it comes to being financially free. It's a strong position for me as a woman. And if you are not financially free or if you don't understand your finances right now, it's okay. This video today that you're watching right now, allow it to encourage you to do so. And if you want to learn more about finances or how to go about becoming financially secure, consider taking a workshop. And if you can't afford one, look for free ones online. They're everywhere. Consider taking courses or a, a financial planning class on investing and budgeting because financial independence can be a significant psychological boost after a setback, I promise. And studying psychology, the world of psychology is like a world in itself. 
a world of its own. There is a lot to psychology. And when you have finances, it's one less thing to put a damper on this beautiful brain up here, on your beautiful brain up here. So work to become financially literate. The fifth tip that you can implement, utilize, work on to free yourself from life setbacks is to cultivate resilience through physical health. Because like financial literacy, when you're physically healthy, most likely you're healthy up here too. Not all the time, but most of the time. And that's because physical health impacts our mental resilience. It really does. When you are not healthy, when you are sickly, I'll just say that, maybe you have type two diabetes, or maybe you have high blood pressure, maybe you may, you may be a little overweight, and I, I'm not trying to trigger anyone, but it's, it's real truth, right? And like I said, we're true here on this channel. You may be a little overweight, or you may have an ailment that if you were to work on it, it, it can be minimized, or you can be free of it altogether. And so when you are physically healthy, you tend to be mentally resilient. And if you have trouble with this, start engaging in re regular physical activity, whether it's yoga or Pilates or Zumba or running or dancing, even some type of martial arts, physical fitness can boost your mood because it allows your endorphins to heighten and it also helps build discipline and a routine. And when we have a routine, it's also easier to recover from life's setbacks. And this can really help you get through rough times. It helps you confront the rough time. It helps you confront the setback or the why behind the setback because there's always a root cause to every issue, to every problem. And it also comforts you during tough times. Additionally, make sure to focus on your nutrition as well because nutrition is fuel for recovery, not just for your health. So when you combine all of these five tips to help you recover from life setbacks, you are on your way. You are committing to taking the steps that you need to take to free yourself from setbacks. And also keep in mind, these tips aren't designed only to help you bounce back from life setbacks. They're also designed to help you build a foundation that makes future challenges less daunting. That's why these five tips are so vital. Each tip encourages personal growth, community support, and self-empowerment. And all of these things are crucial when navigating life's ups and downs, especially setbacks. So there you have it. Rather than waiting for the setback to pass, remember to dance through it. Like I said, that's one of my favorite quotes, Vivian Green. I really, really love that quote because every time I hear it, it reminds me of life's setbacks. Again, my friend, I'm author, healer, intellectual wellness advocate, Katie Gates. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you. And this is the place where I help women like you and me become the best people that we can be. If that is your thing, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Give this video right here, right now, a thumbs up because it helps me with the algorithm mumbo jumbo and also drop me a comment. Are you suffering from a setback in life? Have you suffered from setbacks in life? And if you have, how did you overcome that setback? I'd love to know and I'm sure that everybody else would love to know as well. Again, thank you so much for being here and until next time, bye-bye. I get to finish my tea now. Oh, it's so good. Mm. This is by Tezo. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Tezo. It's their black English breakfast tea and sis, it is so good. I put a little bit of pumpkin spice creamer in it, the oat one, the all natural oat milk one. Mm. 
it is so good when you get a time when you get time not a time <laughs> when you get time give it a try 